Hi, I'm Vic Teslin. Cutting rabbits with a rabbit plane can sometimes be faster than a machine. Especially if you're doing a one-off project that requires only a few rabbits, you save a lot of time not having to do all the machine setup and all the test cuts. The rabbit plane can sometimes be a little bit difficult to set up properly, so we're going to take a closer look at it and I'll show you the step-by-step -step method of setting this plane up to cut beautifully. The first thing you'll want to sort out is the blade. The plane uses a blade that is skewed at 22 degrees and it's important to always have sharp blades in your tools. Whether you use a jig or sharpen freehand, it doesn't matter, it just needs to be sharp. The blade's position in the plane's body is critical to a successful cut with this tool. The first step is to make sure that the blade's point is sticking out from the body slightly. What is slightly? The most I would have the blade protruding is the thickness of a sheet of paper. You'll also want the blade to be parallel in the mouth to make sure your depth of cut is equal. Check out the instructions that came with the plane for the best technique for doing this. While you're setting the blade, now would be a good time to adjust the knicker if you're planning to cut across the grain. Once again, the instructions do a great job at walking you through this process. Adjusting the fence and the depth stop is the next step in preparing the tool for work. The fence will set the width of the rabbit and the depth stop will control the depth of the rabbit. You can use a rule to set the fence and stop or you can reference a dimension from an existing piece. In this case, we'll use the precision square to set the depth stop and fence. Okay, now we have the plane set up and it's ready to cut, so let's start making a rabbit. Today we're going to be working in a piece of pine and we're going to be cutting a rabbit that has a width of a quarter inch and a depth of a quarter inch, which is common for a cabinet back. Begin the cut a few inches away from the far edge of your board and make a pass. Now bring the plane back a few inches and take another pass. With every pass, bring the plane further and further back until you are cutting the full length. This technique establishes the track of the cut and ensures a straight rabbit. Keep on working until the plane stops cutting. This indicates that the rabbit is at the proper width and depth. So as I said at the beginning of the video, if you're doing a one-off job, the rabbit plane can do a much quicker job at getting your rabbits cut than going through all the setup time. The other advantage is not having to wear ear defenders and a dust mask while you're woodworking. 